One of the stars of the Cabaret Festival in Adelaide next month is uh, Kiwi Hayden T, and he joins me from Sydney. Hi, Hayden. Hello. Your own show at the celebrated Cabaret Festival uh, must seem a long way from Manga Toroto and travelling two hours to get to singing lessons. Is it a dream come true for you? Uh, it sort of is, yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely, Manga Toroto is a little, um, a little different to, um, to some of the places I've been spending some time in. <laughs> You have a lot to thank Mum for. I certainly do. I certainly do. She um she would drive me to singing lessons when I was about fourteen, and uh, and she'd uh, pretty much sit in the car while I was singing. I think because it was um it was out in the uh, in the middle of um of farmland. <laughs> You're in Sydney. How did you end up in Australia? Um, I moved to Sydney in 1999. Um, I was I finished high school um, in New Zealand, and then came over to Sydney just to do a one week. Um, holiday course at NIDA, the National Institute of Dramatic Arts, and then at the end of the week, um, the head tutor asked me if I'd come back and audition for the music theatre course, because it was the first year they were ever starting it. And um, I came back, I think, three weeks after that, and uh, auditioned, and then I remember sitting at the airport going home, and then she called me and said, you got in, I just wanted to call and tell you before you left the country, and, um, and I think I had a month to go home, pack up my stuff, and move to Australia, and that was ten years ago now. Well, of course, in the past few years, you've been honing your craft in a, a steady stream of musicals, uh, Les Mis in, in London, of course, My Fair Lady here in Auckland. How have these roles come about? Um, well, there's all sorts of different stories, like different ones, whether I auditioned for them or not. Um, Les Mis is probably the most entertaining story. I was um, doing a cabaret show in Sydney. I was touring it around Australia, and I'd... Um, I was actually at Parramatta, which is about you know 45 minutes to an hour out of um, the, the centre of the city of Sydney, and um, I was in this tiny theatre that maybe sat uh, seated 200 people or so, and there were only five people booked in this particular night. It was a Friday night, and I was so devastated. I can't do this show in front of five people. How embarrassing! And I. I said to my manager, do I have to go on? And he said, yes, you never know who's going to be there. You know, you always have to go on and do it. And um, I did the show, and then after the show, I met all five people. And um, and one of them was um, John Robertson, who was a, uh, well, he's actually like an executive producer for Cameron Macintosh. And um, he's in the Australian office of Cameron Macintosh. And, um, and uh, then... Um, I, uh, he rang, met him afterwards, and then he said, I'd like you to go to London and uh, audition for Les Miserables um, for the role of Marius. So I went to London um, a couple of weeks later, and then the rest is history. I ended up moving there and playing the role shortly after. Well, from the musicals, of course, Cabaret obviously uh, holds a special place in your heart. Now, tell me about the show that you've got planned for Adelaide. Um, Generation Y, yeah, yeah. I mean, cabarets. Oh, I love doing cabaret because it's so. It really is a real creative outlet. I can, I can, you know, help write the show and really kind of, um, I know, express myself. And uh, it's kind of a bit like therapy, really. If you've got something you need to work through, um, I generally do another cabaret show. <laughs> it's cheaper than therapy. But um, this this show, Generation Y, is um, is great um, for me at the moment because it's. Um, it's all the music of, of Generation Y from 1980 through to 1994, which is not music theatre. It's all kind of pop music. It's Michael Jackson. It's Enya. It's um, who else is in there? There's Cindy Lauper, Dave Dobbin, um, Crowded House, and um, and the actual story that it tells is going back through the history of my family and my heritage, comparing all of the generations before Generation Y, before um, my generation. Um, and seeing how things have changed and how th time has evolved and how society has evolved, um, using my family as a template, but of course, you know, it's basically similar to anyone's family, really. I mean, for instance, my great-grandmother, um, she actually married, her first husband was her first cousin, and then he passed away shortly after World War One, and then she fell pregnant to a man eight years her junior. And um, he was my great, that man was my great um Great grandfather, and um, and it's quite fascinating how when she fell pregnant to him, she actually had to leave town to have the baby because there was threats of taking the baby away because he was younger than her and they weren't married and all these sorts of things. And um, it's fascinating how in the interbellum generation it was quite acceptable to marry your first cousin, but not acceptable to fall pregnant to someone eight years your junior. Yet now it's the complete and utter opposite. 
Fascinating. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> all sorts of dark little family secrets I've uncovered. <laughs> is it fair to say that uh, the cabaret is going through uh, somewhat of a renaissance, assisted by events like the Cabaret Festival in Adelaide? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, cabaret's always been pretty strong in Australia. Um, there was a cabaret convention, things like that. The Adelaide Cabaret Festival has been around for a few years now, so it has been quite strong. But um, I think at the moment it is. It's becoming, um, it's becoming sort of a new chic art form. <laughs> and if you'd like to see one of our own in action, tickets to Hayden show uh, around $30 Australian, which I think is very reasonable, Hayden. Extremely good value for money. Absolutely, yeah. And there's also um, to go along with the show, or the show to go along with an album, rather. Um, I have a new album coming out called um, Generation Y Live, which is um, a live um, recording of uh, 12 of the songs that are in the show with um, a 15-piece orchestra and a 20-person choir and... Hmm. I'm glad you mentioned that because it is New Zealand Music Month. It is. Uh, you really, yeah. Yep. So we're promoting everything at the moment, Hayden. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you very much for your time today, and uh, I look forward to perhaps seeing you in Adelaide next month. Brilliant. Thank you for having me. Just a reminder, as I said, uh, uh, Hayden's show is, is great and unique. It's a fabulous night out. His and all the other uh, cabaret festival performances are in the central city within an easy walking distance of most of the hotels. It's easy to get across to the festival. Air New Zealand flies non-stop from Auckland five times a week. Why waste your time going via anywhere else when you can spend more time in Adelaide, I say. So if you're heading to Adelaide in June or wanting a good reason to go, then check out www.southaustralia.co.nz. For Air New Zealand's best fares, visit at www.airnz.co.nz